30 seconds. Welcome to the top of the world. Who are you guys supposed to be? The bad guys. We had uh, gang shootings in the neighborhood one night and I had to bring out the police to come and watch the sets because it's in the middle of nowhere but somehow there were gangs shooting at each other <laughs> with guns which is what we were doing in our movie but we didn't really want them next to us. We wanted to shoot it in California which was a little bit difficult because it's one of the few states that doesn't offer a real incentive. So for financing people were like go to Louisiana, go, but we wanted to shoot in the desert and we wanted to shoot locally and employ people locally. The story actually came about, uh, it takes place in Baker, California, which is on, on your way to Vegas, right? And it's one of these towns where I, I passed for years and I said, why the hell would anybody live there? So on one of my trips back from Vegas, I created this story because I, I didn't stop myself. So it's a, it's a fictional baker, it's not the actual baker, but it, it really came from just wondering like what kind of people would be there. And then uh, it developed into like this kind of like uh, Sergio Leone-esque Western, but in contemporary times. It was very important to me that, um, that that Jean-Claude embodied this character. I mean, his name's Stillman for a reason. He's a very downtrodden guy, he's a bad guy, but he's a guy that regrets his choices in life. And in a way, he sees Baker, this town, and when he meets Hannah, played by Wanda Colon, he, he sees this girl as, as a way to start over and possibly have a new life, a life he's never had. Grant Bowler, who plays Cole, he's a guy that he went to prison for 10 years. He's, he's a career bad guy, but he sees Bishop when he gets out of prison as the life he could have had, but it's the life that Bishop is having with his former girlfriend. Bishop, he's played by Lenny James, is a guy that is tormented by his past because even though he doesn't remember it, he knows he's a bad guy. He can feel it, but he's trying to, to be a good guy. He's trying to change that aspect of his life. But in the course of this film, when his former partners come back into town, he has to become the bad guy that he once was to now take care of his family. Alfred Molina plays Doc, and who's a very complex character, kind of a mentor in our film, but full of betrayal. And you know Alfred from films like Spider-Man, Frida, where he played Diego Rivera, an amazing, amazing actor who's going to be directing his first feature very soon. And it's cool to play characters like this that kind of like go over their insecurity by being so big, you know? Even if I'm the smallest of the bad guy, physically, so my character is all out there, you know? He's got this snake jacket and he's got lots of guns and he's very flashy. Somewhere in your shitty little town is hidden $10 million. I'm gonna need you to find that for us. I burned down your town. It's about a guy that uh, 10 years before our story began, he was involved in a, uh, a heist in Las Vegas, Nevada. And during the heist, all the rest of his crew was captured and he was wounded. So 10 years later, they come to find him and the $10 million he got away with, and now he's the sheriff of the town. And he has no memory of the crime or where the money is. And he's married to the girlfriend of the leader of the gang. So they're a little upset that he basically is living the life that this guy felt like he missed out on for the last 10 years. So.